I grew up in a small village uh, near the beach in Israel, uh, actually in a farm. And um, we have orange groves and we have chickens and uh, near the beach. So my childhood was all around that scene. So for me to go outdoors and shoot landscapes and beaches, um, it's something that I love doing. I feel at home there. I started with flowers initially. Uh, it was something I was doing a lot in studio. I love the close-ups, the details, black like colors as well. So uh, I was renowned at some point of having uh, every imaginable color background on my sets of flowers, which uh, seems to be very useful because I work with lots of designer and wall art publishers, which uh, needs those uh, different colors. Most of my clients are licensing clients, so they come to me and say, I need to use an image for a poster or a canvas or a wall mural or a greeting card. It's normally that they saw my image on my website or they saw it on a product and then they uh, either send me an email and asking, uh, we've seen your work and we would like to work with you. There's been a few applications that we've done as wall murals, so wallpaper straight onto the wall, and we've gone full size, like five meters by about two meters, and the definition in that was absolutely superb. The quality of my images um, is very high resolution, and uh, this enables you to print the images very large. I use a very high-end camera, I use a medium format camera, so it's not just the resolution, it's also the quality of the lenses. I love the technology involved in that. I like the technicality of it. Um, I like computers. And today everything is digital, so it's great. And uh, I'm a bit of a geek, I've always been. So it goes very well with photography. Um, and I like beautiful things, and I like colors. Um, so it all goes together uh, very well. Bobby is part of the creative process, definitely. Um, he basically has to approve all the shots and he needs to uh, say which color to use and what are going to be the best sellers. Uh, he has a great sense of composition. And, uh, you know, without him, I wouldn't be today where I am. Sometimes I take him on, on shoots when I go to, uh, you know, forest or nice locations, obviously not to cityscapes and things like that. but. Uh, when I stroll along and look for images. In few cases, I actually photographed him. More often than not, I've, I've sold those images. My style is uh, quite varied, actually, because, you know, when I shoot still life, then it's more close-ups and maybe flowers. And when I go in cities, I like to add or find this special angle or this special element that I can add into the shot. Um, when I go to forest, I like to look for those beautiful paths. Um, but I think what, what sums it up, maybe, is a lot of time I look for simplicity. I shot in uh, quite a few cities so far. I've been to New York, Paris, Rome. London quite a bit because it's near where I live. Um, Venice, um, one of my favorite cities is obviously London. Uh, New York is the top of the list as well. It's the mother of all cities. Uh, the skyline is absolutely beautiful. I know when image is finished, when uh, I love it. Sometimes I would go back to an image and manipulate the colors in a different way because either I got a request from a client that they need this color team, so, you know, or they need black and white or sepia or they need the browns. So I would go to some of my top shots and do new versions of them. And it's always evolving. 